I'm feeling a little lonely lately, and I, I really felt like I just needed to get out of the house. You know, I've been stuck in here too long, not really doing anything productive, other than just creating myself as a character in my wrestling video game. Pretty legit. Looks just like me. But I decided I was going to get back out there, get in the game, you know, start dating again. Some of you might have seen that I, I reopened my OkCupid account. And I, I updated it a bit. So I had some potential matches on there, some ladies that were interested. So I decided that I was going to document the experience. Um, I would go on a few dates and then just record myself after to see how they went. So that's what this is all about. I uh, hope you guys enjoy. Okay, so we got Christina coming over tonight. Um, funny thing is, is that uh, we actually went to school together. We didn't really talk much back then, just kind of knew each other. Uh, another funny thing is she actually just lives a couple streets over, so um, I told her she just wanted to stop by, I'd make her dinner. Uh, so I actually should get started on that because she'll be here any minute. All right, got that all going. Um, so yeah, what time is it, 9.38? Uh, so she should be here any minute. Um, if she's cool with me recording, I'll record a little bit of this, but you know, if not, um, I'll just let you guys know how it went afterwards. <sighs> she must be stuck in traffic. Well, that just tears it. You know, I... I'm pretty sure she's not coming since our date was for 9.30 last night and it's now 7 a.m. the next morning. So it's not my first time being stood up. You know, I recognize the signs. So when, when, when they don't show up, that's a pretty good sign. It's a big red flag that you're being stood up. Let's just hope the rest of them go better than this. The date with Lisa didn't go too well. I, I'll just say that she was very much into ass play, and I'll just leave it at that. Alright, that should be my date, Jenna, coming to pick me up. Let's see. Oh my god. It's my ex. She must have been catfishing me. I should have expected this from her. Look at her. She looks like a psychopath out there. I'm not going out with her. I'm just gonna stay in here and pretend to be dead. I should have known she'd want me back. She can't resist my body. Jeez. I'm hairy in all the right places. And I have really nice nipples. Well, I thought the date with Megan was going pretty good, but it turns out she was just a Jehovah's Witness who was trying to convert me to her church. She was very nice. She even gave me this little booklet on the story of Jesus. Although I gotta say, it's, it's just kind of spice the story up a little bit. If you're trying to convert people, you want people to be interested, just maybe add a little more to this. Say like he drove a Maserati and he drank Coors Light and ate dinosaur chicken nuggets. You know, I'd want to party with that dude. But it sadly didn't work on me because I am a Scientologist, all right? We're growing in numbers, baby. We even have our own TV channel now. What the hell? Oh, I have to check this out. Right on. All right, this is what Scientology is all about. I'd like to see people make fun of Scientology now. So I'm a Scientologist for life, okay? Till the day I die. And after I die, 
I will become an alien spirit, or I will go live in a volcano, or wherever the fuck we believe. It really wasn't all that clear to me. Um, I attended a seminar about Scientology, but it really wasn't that legit because it was hosted at a Denny's. The pancakes were amazing, the Scientology was so-so, so I guess I kind of joined for pancakes. Yeah, yeah, whatever, this is all good and fun and all that, but, you know, you're just not gonna convert me. I, I love my religion. I'm all about my religion, and you'll never convert me because pancakes. Which brings us back here. And uh, I went out with Ashley, it was a, it was a great time. Um, we probably won't be going out again. There's no, like, crazy story, anything bad that happened. Um, sometimes you just don't mesh well with somebody. And that's really what I'm going to take away from this. I mean, sometimes maybe you have a falling out with somebody. Sometimes maybe uh, they get upset with you. But other times it just, just doesn't work out. Maybe someone doesn't click well with you for whatever reason. It's really not your fault for being yourself. I just got to learn that no matter what... <laughs> There are just some girls out there who aren't going to be impressed with my holographic Blastoise Pokemon card, second edition. There's some girls that aren't going to be impressed with my artwork. It's just how it, it's just how it is. Some people just don't like the same things as you. They're not into it. So there is something though that everyone will be impressed with and everyone will like, and that's the Blastoise Pokemon card. I was lying about that earlier, and my artwork. I was lying about that too. So, uh, as, you, as you've seen, none of these relationships are working out for me. Uh, I won't be going on any more dates with these ladies, which means I'm still on the market, which is, you know, great news for you single ladies. I mean, I'm very happy for you. And if none of this stuff that I've shown you about myself here has impressed you enough to want to go out with me, just know this. I also have a holographic Charizard Pokemon card. I probably should have led with that. So take me away, take me away I don't want to grow old, I don't want to go astray If I could go back, I wouldn't change shit I would give them the finger, like fuck this Now I'm packed up my bags, time to hit the road I'm saying with the Irish, where's the pot of gold? I guess it's all done, so I'll throw away the past For the search of the passions, with the greener grass Now I'm looking at the bottle like I need another glass Now I'm looking at the sky like I need another chance I'm sprinting for your love, so it's a mad dash And our hearts get together the light, boom, boom, crash. I emerge from the scene. I look back on the rubble. I look back on my life. Then I take like a double. Take me to a place where the sun always shine. I guess Nas was right and the world is my life. I said I'm coming back, I'm coming back around And you ain't going nowhere, so put your jacket down and they might take me away, but guess who's back in town The count feeling graduated with no cap and gown I said I'm coming back, I'm coming back around And you ain't going nowhere, so put your jacket down and they might take me away, but guess who's back in town The count feeling graduated with no cap and gown I think I'm crazy, I think I'm fucking losing it I think I'm like a ticking time bomb and the fuse is lit About to blow up, hide your daughter, hold your crucifix I'm switching punchlines that knock you out just like a roof I'm twice the man you are, you swear to God, there's two of us. I swear to God, you're seeing double bladed on the cheek.